gives you advice, yeah, on how to live your life, how to live your life. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome to my channel. I'm Cami. Today's video is going to be a Q&A. So if you guys are new, I really hope that you will subscribe and stick around and join my little YouTube family. Um, I asked you guys to ask me questions on my Instagram. So if you guys don't follow me, it is in my description box along with my TikTok. And yeah, so I hope you guys follow me there in case you know you're not already just because that is where I do a lot of updating and a lot of like Q&A stuff if I want you guys to ask me questions I will ask on my Instagram um, but I do also post on my TikTok like regularly so in case you want to follow me there as well but yeah we're just gonna go ahead and get into the questions that you guys asked me I have screenshotted them and yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video so um, the first question is what's the gender of the baby um, so if you guys don't know I am currently pregnant I am 13 weeks currently and I do have a two-year-old son who's about to be three and on August 3rd um, so if you guys watched my 12 week update you guys would know that I don't know the gender of the baby yet and that I did the blood test so I am just waiting for them to send me the results however long that may be um, but yeah i mean i'm just waiting on the results and they it might not even like i might have to try it again because they did have to take blood from my hand because i'm a hard stick and they said they didn't know um if the results were going to be as accurate because it wasn't like from my arm it was from my hand which i don't know why that would make a difference but apparently it does yeah so i don't know the gender of the baby yet and i know a lot of questions are going to be about that um, so you guys, I'm making pregnancy updates like every month after I have an appointment. So if you're gonna, you know, be curious about that kind of stuff, make sure to hit the notifications so you, you know, are notified whenever I post a pregnancy update or anything about, you know, pregnancy related because, I mean, that's where I'm giving updates and if you don't watch those, you're not gonna know what's going on. Um, okay, so are you thinking about having another baby? Um, I mean, I'm currently pregnant now, so no, I would definitely not be thinking about having another baby while I'm pregnant. That just seems weird. Um, and I already have a almost three-year-old, so I think two kids is, um, you know, where I'm good at. I don't think I want more than two kids. I don't think I would be able to handle that. And we already have a small house, so no. Are you hoping for a girl or do you prefer, prefer being a boy mom? I really like being a boy mom, but I also obviously would like a girl. Um, I think all girls really want girls and all boys really want boys. Um, but I mean, I love having a boy. He is just so enthusiastic and I honestly want a girl to see the difference of just how, you know, they act and all of that. I just want to know like the difference between raising a girl and a boy. So I would like to have both of each um, or one of each. Um, but I really don't mind being a boy mom. I already know what to expect and I already know we already have like boy toys and stuff Yeah, so uh, I would prefer a Girl, but I really don't mind being a boy mom. I would be completely happy with that We already have a lot of boy stuff and like boy hand-me-downs. So if we do have a girl, we're gonna have to buy different stuff um, and all of that But being a boy mom is super fun. I would just want to know, you know, the difference between raising them um what are some name ideas and do you think it's going to be a boy or a girl so i don't really know names because it took us so long to come up with parker for my son um so i'm assuming it's going to take us a long time to come up with you know names in general and uh i i mean we waited i think to come up with names till after we knew the gender but i'm finding the gender out hopefully sooner than 20 weeks um, so that's 20 weeks is when I found out with Parker. So hopefully we found out before then so we can get, you know, the steps going a little sooner than last time. But I think it will probably, I don't know, based on symptom wise, because I've had different symptoms this time, I want to say girl, but I, I just feel like it's going to be another boy. Um, celebrity crush. I don't know. I don't really pay attention to a lot of celebrities. We'll, 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 we'll go with Zac Efron. <laughs> um, have you watched Netflix 13 Reasons Why and or what are your thoughts on it? Yes, I have. 
um, I am up to date and I know they're not going to be making another season and this last season really bummed me out and made me cry a lot. I mean the first season was bad but I mean losing, losing Justin was a little hard you know for this season. Um, I mean they stay up to date on current trends and what's happening in the world and you know just important things. Um, which those are the kind of shows that I like that go on based on like trends and like what is happening currently. My my husband doesn't like that because um, he always makes fun of like because I like like um, freeform shows and like well it's not ABC Family anymore but you know those kind of shows and he doesn't but that's just my kind of taste. But yeah, I mean I really enjoyed this sh the show. I definitely think if you are somebody who is very sensitive to certain things it would be extremely hard to watch um so yeah i mean it was hard for me to watch especially um that bathroom scene uh i i cried and like it made me sad so yeah um how do you manage youtube while raising your son and balancing it all out i mean i'm not the fancy youtuber or anything like that we don't have a look like, a large following i don't really get paid from it um so it's not i don't know it's not really exactly a job because it's not like i have a steady income coming in from this or anything it's just something that i do and i started to like vlog life and just show my son and what's going on in our life for me so that i can see these videos it's not like a difficult thing. I edit when, you know, he's napping or I edit at like nighttime or whatever. So it's not something that takes up a huge amount of time. I mean, like right now while I'm doing this, my hu husband is home. So he's with Parker in the living room. If you guys can hear him, he's being silly. But it's not like something that takes up a serious amount of time. Now I can see if you're putting out videos every single day, that would be really, really hard. But that's not something I do because I know that's something that I could not personally you know, I, I just couldn't do it and I wouldn't want to let people down by saying that I could do it. Ooh, okay. Um, does your son understand that you're having a baby? No, he does not. I feel like he'll start understanding more as my belly starts growing. I mean, he is almost three years old, so I feel like by the time he's going to be like, I think three years and five months when baby comes, if baby comes on time. Um, so I mean... I think at that point he should understand and I think he'll understand more as my, my belly grows and progresses. And I mean, I bring it up to him and everything, but he still thinks he's the baby and he says, I'm baby, like Parker baby. Um, so I, he thinks that he's he's a little little guy. And I keep saying like, we're gonna have like another little person here. Like some days that's gonna be even smaller than you. You're gonna be a big brother and all that kind of stuff. But I don't think, you know, he understands yet. Um. Is it okay to be 17 and want a baby? I miscarried when I was 15 and I think that's why I do. Um, I know I had some struggles in high school with things and I always knew like um, I really liked kids and I always thought I was gonna be a teacher, but no. <laughs> and I always knew I really liked kids and I always knew I wanted a family and that kind of stuff since I was young. So I feel like it's not a horrible thing to know that you want a baby but at the same time you don't need to be having a, a baby if you're not financially stable and if you know that you can't do it because it's a lot it's a lot of work and it's a lot of isolation and it's a lot of meltdowns and it's a lot of it puts a toll on your mental health for sure it's not just something like you can't just have a baby and go back to your normal life like everything changes and I just don't think that's something that you should want before you are ready and like know that you can handle it by yourself. Um, do you have you or when you have your period, do you prefer tampons or pads? My cousin says they are unholy. Um, I mean I prefer pads, but I have like a heavy flow, so I have to wear tampons for the first few days. I do have a period for the like the regular seven days. I know a lot of people have it for a much shorter amount of time than that um you know tmi maybe but this is my channel and it's what i post um so yeah i mean i prefer pads just because 
I don't know. I mean, it, 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 I prefer pads when I'm like less heavy, um, but tampons if, you know, it's heavy. But I mean, I'm not having a period right now and I have a lot of pads in my thing. But I mean, that'll come, come handy after baby because I know I will be bleeding for a while. Um, how are you doing being pregnant with a toddler? <laughs> um, it's hard. He has so much energy and he runs around constantly. And one of my symptoms like from the very beginning was just being tired and just being like I would sleep fine and then just be exhausted as soon as I wake up. Um, so that's kind of difficult and I have like, inner, I don't have energy to do things. Like I just don't want to do stuff um and i have to make sure that like i'm still putting in the effort to do stuff with parker like take him to the park or whatever that may be um so, i mean i know it will get a lot more difficult the further along i get and the bigger that i get he, he just he has so much energy and that's something that you have to definitely put a lot of time into and to make sure that you're like paying attention to him and everything because i mean he's non-stop when my dad comes over and watches him when I go to appointments or if we go on a date or something like that. He always comments about how much energy Parker has and how he just doesn't stop. And I'm like, yeah, it's like that every day. <laughs> um, is there some cravings you had during your first pregnancy that you wish you have now? Okay, so I didn't really crave anything with Parker. I didn't really have a terrible pregnancy with Parker. Like this one has been much different. Not that it's a terrible pregnancy, but I didn't really have morning sickness with Parker. Uh, I didn't really have cravings. I didn't have headaches. Like this is such different things that it makes me think that I'm having the opposite gender. But I also am like I'm probably having a boy because that's just what I think in my head. Um, I mean the only thing that I craved really I had I always wanted French fries and barbecue sauce. Um, but I mean I'm sure I feel like that's probably coming at this point. I don't really crave much. The only thing I have craved, which I also said in my 12 week um, update, which I will link so you guys can watch that in case you're, you have it and you've missed things because I do show my bump and I talk about my symptoms and all that kind of stuff. Um, I craved fruit for like a week and that was it. Um, I mean, we'll see what my cravings are so far. It hasn't really been anything. Um, when we found out the gender of the baby, again, I talked about it in my 12 week update. I'm just waiting for them to give me the results. <laughs> um, are you going to want to find out the gender? Yes. When my OB asked me if, you know, uh, cause when they were doing the blood test is to test for any like abnormalities. And then it also includes your gender. She said that she can put it in an envelope. Or, ooh, oh, Jesus. Or like, let me know by phone call or by the little patient portal thing and I was like yes like I want to know like don't put it in an env envelope just you know tell me um I want to know personally just because I couldn't have a like surprise baby like I want to buy specific colors I want things prepared I'm not a person who really likes the color yellow I don't I wouldn't want to do just like gender neutral colors like I I want to know I just I would want to know and I think it's amazing how people just don't know and they're just like surprised like it's a girl and like I just would want to have things prepared and that's just me um are you nervous to have two kids I'm incredibly nervous to have two kids mostly because I the reason I didn't want to get pregnant for a while is because I feel like it's gonna hurt Parker's feelings and that's just gonna make me cry already because he's my baby um He's the most important thing to me in the world and I know that he's going to be upset by it. I know that when there's another little baby, he's going to have his feelings hurt. He's going to want all the attention and he's not going to be getting it. Like I'm going to have to put in a lot of effort with baby and then I'm going to also have to try to put a lot of effort in with Parker because I I just know like he are right now. He thinks he is baby like he thinks I mean he is he is baby he is our everything but he thinks like you know like like last night he was saying like one baby and i was like no two babies uh, yeah i know that it's it's gonna be a hard adjustment for him and that makes me sad um but i mean he plays really well with other kids and he's always really like nice to other kids i just think 
having a kid, another kid here 24 seven is going to be really hard on my sweet boy. Um, will this be your last baby? Yes, <laughs> I plan on, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to get like the thing in your arm or if I'm just gonna stick to taking like birth control pills or what, but I want two kids. I see, I mean, who knows, maybe I'll change my mind, but probably not. Like, I thought I only wanted one kid and then after having Parker, I was like, no, like I want another kid. Like I want two kids. I want them to be close in, close-ish in age and all that. But I think this would probably be our last kid. I can't see me handling three kids. <laughs> I will be doing a, a gender reveal. So the thing is, I will be finding out the gender um, before everybody. So I will, I will know. Like I will do if you know they email me. I plan on um, setting up the camera and doing a reaction to whatever that is. And then I'm not going to say what the gender is because I ordered some stuff so that we could like uh, pop pop whatever pop this stuff out um for my husband and parker because i also want to make it special for them and because of the virus and everything he can't come to appointments and he can't be there for any of that kind of stuff so he already ruined me um you know telling him that i was pregnant because he came home with alcohol and i was like no <laughs> like sorry um but yeah so i plan on doing something i don't know how it's gonna work out um but there will hopefully be some kind of, regardless of if none of that stuff looks, I will make like a little video letting you guys know what the gender is. I do not have a baby names in mind yet. A lot of people asked about babies and when we were finding out the gender and all of that. So definitely make sure you guys stick up to date on my pregnancy updates and all of that because that is where I will inform you about everything that's going on. Um, did you ever want to be a mom before you had your son? Yes, I've always known that I wanted kids. That was never something that I didn't think about for my future. I always thought I was going to be married and have kids. That's just what it was because I always loved kids. Um, yeah. Do you think Parker would prefer a baby brother or a baby sister? I don't know. Um, I feel like... Okay, so when we go to the gym that I go to... They have like a little daycare and there's always a lot of little girls there there's not that many boys there and he does really well with the girls but i feel like that's because he's a little flirt like he'll hold hold, hold uh, bleh. he will hold hands with them and play with them all of that stuff but when, also when we go to parks if there's a little boy he'll play with them too um i don't think he i don't i don't know i don't think that he would either one because I know either one is going to be hard for him to have I would prefer him to have a little sister just because I think that would be really cute like the overprotective you know big brother type situation but I also think it would be super cute for him to have a little brother and just like I don't think he would want to match with them but in my head they're matching and being super cute um, but I don't know um, ba -ba 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 -ba. let's see Do you want their names to match in any way? I'm not sure. Um, I don't really know of any super cute P names um, that is like girly and it took us such a long time to come up with Parker because he wanted some weird names. Like we want unique names and Parker isn't really unique. Um, but the things that he was coming up with, my husband was coming up with, I was like, no, no. <laughs> Um, so I don't know. I mean, it would be cute if they could match in some sort of way, but I just don't have any ideas for that. If you guys do, let me know. Um, what is your favorite color? And again, a gender question. Don't know you guys. My favorite color is green. I really like green. I've always liked green or like a teal kind of color, but in the same like family as like green and bluish. Um... How is your son reacting to the pregnancy so far? It's not really any different. Um, I just don't have as much energy and he doesn't really under understand yet. I just keep saying like, hey, you're big brother. And he'll be like, big brother. But he doesn't, you know, understand. So how is this pregnancy going compared to my first? So like I've mentioned, it's a lot of different symptoms and other things. 
Like, I, I've had morning sickness with this one. Well, not really morning sickness. I haven't really puked. Just nausea. Um, and then I've had a lot of headaches. And then just um, the hating brushing my teeth stuff. I don't know what it is. Just the toothpaste. My husband actually got me some other mouthwash today. And got himself some other mouthwash today. Because I couldn't. I did not like the spearmint or like. I don't whatever that flavor is like I the smell of it anything it just ugh. um so that's different my first pregnancy was just not not very difficult the only thing that I really struggled with was blood pressure and I had to take stuff with that so far I'm only taking aspirin it hasn't gotten too bad yet to the point of where my OB thinks that I need to be put on medication so we'll see um where do you shop for clothes so I don't really buy clothes that much. Um, I started buying like dresses and stuff from Shein. I get, honestly, I get some clothes from Walmart. I mean, I'm not, I don't dress fancy or anything like that. Um, I like Forever 21, but those are honestly, I, don't, I just don't buy a lot of clothes. I just have clothes from like a long time ago and that's just kind of what I wear. Um, and then for Parker clothes, we get it from Walmart, Target. I sometimes order them online. Um, I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, what's the hardest thing when it comes to parenting? So for me, it's honestly just getting my toddler to listen and understand. He is, I'm just going to say independent in his ways. Um, he does not like listening to the word no and he doesn't know how to express his emotions very well you know throwing stuff or just acting the way that he shouldn't act and i don't really know how to discipline um i was not i don't think i was really spank spanked as a child i know like they would like threaten me with a spanking and that would scare the crap out of me but like he really he just doesn't care i'll be like do you want a spanking and he'll be like yeah and i'm like you don't want a spanking <laughs> Um, so, uh, is your house clean? Not really. Um, that's, I just, no motivation. Like, I put up some of my laundry today. I feel good about it. <laughs> um, but, you know, I try to clean a couple of times a month just so I don't feel, like, gross. But, again, like, motivation is just something that's lacking right now because, the first trimester with just being nauseated and all that is just a little. What kind of music do you like? I like pop music. I like trendy music, I guess. Um, do you enjoy being a mom? Yes, it is the best. It is definitely hard and something, I mean, you learn a lot about yourself when you become a mom, but I really, really enjoy it and seeing him grow every day and giving me kisses and all that kind of stuff. It just makes me happy. Uh, what is your favorite thing to do on your free time? I don't really have free time. I mean, I'm a mom, like, all day long. I mean, my husband comes home, and then I have to make dinner, and all of that. Like, I have to make him dinner, or Parker dinner, or something like that. I mean, the only thing we really do together is watch wrestling, or watch The Office, or do something like that. Um, but, like, me by myself, I really don't have much time because I'm usually just watching Parker. Any conception medicine to get pregnant? No, we were not. I was very lucky. Um, it took us about six months to get pregnant and I was just doing my ovulation testing and tracking that and I got the app um, and we ended up just baby dancing quite a bit on the last month that we got pregnant and it, that worked for us. Um, if I hadn't got preg pregnant that much, we were going to use like um pre-seed and i was gonna look into some supplements just because i really didn't know you know what was going on um but we did and i'm very very lucky so okay so not a question but i remember we were having fertility issues together and my hubs and i just found out we are pregnant well congratulations i'm super happy for you that is awesome Mm. what do you think best age difference is between and between having kids um 
so for us personally i just wanted parker to be a little bit older i wanted to have like a good like time with him i didn't want to have one back to back because i didn't feel like that was fair to either one um so i mean we waited till i mean i've known for a while that i like wanted to get pregnant we didn't know how long it was going to take us and all of that so about when Parker was two, we started talking about it. So I feel like ages two-ish is when people generally start having uh, another baby. I know when I looked it up, it wasn't recommended to get pregnant again until like after 24 months, just like for the health of your body. And a lot of people get pregnant before then. And I just feel like that's not so great on your body. But I mean, either way, um, your body's gonna change again, so. Um, how do you keep your toddler entertained right now? I'm, um, I mean, we still go to parks. There's not usually a lot of people at our parks or anything, and I make sure that we have hand sanitizer and all of that kind of stuff. But mostly, we are just at the house, which means, honestly, just a lot of TV. Um, and then we have, we try to let him go and play outside, and he has, like, a little mini pool out there, so that um i mean there's not really much that anybody can really do right now so i mean if your toddler likes games or anything parker's not really into that now um maybe look up some craft acti activities i know parker really likes to color but for toddlers there's not really much they could do like they're not like into video games they're not into like doing extravagant things like honestly they just mostly want to play so that's really all that's happening right now um how do you feel uh or how are you doing feeling during being pregnant during a pandemic so i mean i have no idea how long this is gonna last nobody does and it's unfortunate because it sucks and i know a lot of people have already had their baby and like have already gone through that and it sucks and i know that you know that's not how you pictured it because a lot of people got pregnant like before that it even started and then i would have been so bummed out if i had gotten pregnant and then we had a pandemic like right when i was going to have my baby i mean who knows what's going to be happening you know six months from now in, in january um who knows but i i imagine that i still We'll be dealing with the same stuff so i will still be going to appointments alone um you know having to wear a mask luckily as of right now for our hospitals locally for the hospital that i will you know give birth at you can still have one support person so that means that my husband can be there with me but if that changes that is going to make me incredibly angry because he already can't come to any of the appointments so if he can't be there for the birth i will lose <laughs> my mind but right now, we are very lucky and the hospitals are still allowing that. Just no other visitors for anything else, like anything else. Like you can't have anybody else there. So, I mean, nobody will be able to come visit, but that is, you know, fine. But who knows, again, longer down the road. I just wish that he could come to, to appointments and all that. And I wish Parker could come to appointments because I feel like that would also help, you know, understand what is going on. Um, will you have a home birth? No, I plan to give birth in the hospital. Again, people are asking about having another baby. I mean, I'm pregnant right now. I don't understand how people would be thinking about having another baby while they're pregnant. Like, that is a lot. <laughs> um, are you open to mommy friends? Yes, I honestly don't have any friends because my friends left because we had a hurricane here and people just live separate lights yeah uh i've been wanting to get started on youtube suggestions and what kind of camera just you know go for it i don't really think the camera matters because phones nowadays can record super well so it's not like i mean if you have like an up-to-date phone like you should be fine recording on your phone um i have a big camera and i don't recommend it for vlogging because it is big and it is hard to carry around so honestly just just do it on your phone there's so many apps and like editing stuff that you can already do on your phone so what is your favorite food? I like pizza, I like pasta, um, I like hot wings. I don't really have like a specific favorite food. I am not a healthy person. It's not like I enjoy like healthy food. Um, I just like fatting foods, <laughs> honestly. But I really do enjoy like um, olive garden food. I like raviolis and I like spaghetti and I like alfredo and I like pizza. And I really like hot wings as well though. 
was yummy. Um, okay, yeah, so I think that is going to be the end of this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and learned a little bit more about me. And yeah, follow my socials if you're not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.